Welcome back to the channel. This is April from Penguins Creative and it's this time of the year again where I pop up on YouTube and tell you how many planners I use for the last year and what I'm planning to use for the next. So <sighs> these are all the planners I will be using for 2022. Actually, calling them planner would be a little bit too much. Some are journals and some are actually notebooks that I use for different purposes. But as we all know and love stationary items, there's always a medium for a project or for a purpose. And today I'm just gonna walk you through it and let you see what books I'm using for what purposes in 2022. First planner journal for 2022 is the Hobonichi Techo Cousin. As you all know, I love using the Hobonichi Techo. The Cousin breaks the whole year down into two halves. So here's the second half, and from January to June and July to December. This comes in a, a monthly format, a weekly format, and a daily format and I love using it to document my every day. So taking a look at my last half year, this is July to December of 2021, you'll see I do all kinds of documentation in there. I put in happy mail, I doodle, I draw, I journal, and it's just a catch-all for all kinds of creative things going on in my life, as well as memory keeping, printing out photos, and documenting about my days. And they are on a daily basis and I never skip out on them. On the weekly, I use it as a um, daily snapshot where I capture things that happens throughout the day. So even if I don't get the chance to update the daily as frequently as I like to, I make sure to always journal in the vertical. So this way, when I'm catching up, I can always refer to the weekly to see what happened during the day and I'll catch up based on that. My second staple of 2022 is this A5 size plotter. It's a leather ring binder in a very small <laughs> ring size from Japan and I got it from plotterusa.com. And it's a very fun modular system for me, especially for work, which I'm using it for. Um, I have to be careful, I can't show you too much, but it comes um, with inserts available to switch in and switch out as you please. So I personally switch between using the six milliliter rule of paper that comes with these numbered lines. So I can use it as a, as a daily page or like an hourly tracker. I use the to-do list with these percentage of completion. And I also use these four milliliter dot grids papers. So they're all pre-punched and you can use them in and out of the system based on your needs. My plotter, I use it with these project managers where I can put important things in there. Um, I paired it with the monthly calendar and each week I can set up a stand-up page or a sprint go type page where I write down things that needs to be done. And then in the back behind these um, lifter, I use these spare pages as I need to. Uh, I take them out as I complete them and I add more in if I need them. And I also have fun little sketchy pages like these. And this is finally an envelope style um, page where I keep receipts from work. And these stay as slim as I need to or as fat as I need to on some weeks. But super portable, it sits on my work desk next to my computer and I can refer to them at any time I want to. And I've been using it for a few months already and I'm really confident this will keep me company going into 2022. My third most important planner, um, no surprise, is also a plotter. Like I said, I really enjoy the modularity of switching in inserts, 
putting things inside, taking them out when it's completed, and also having the flexibility to move things around based on my schedule. So this is my all-in-one planner outside of work and for everything else in my life. I use the lifter thing with the band so I can secure it to carry it in my pouch without the pages being bent. And I like to decorate it how I want with like postcards and cute things. And I use different pages for it. But most of, importantly, I pair it with a monthly calendar. You know, I can customize some postcards to, as dividers to make my setup cute. I also can pair it with um, these weekly inserts and then intersecting them with little no pages in between from the narrower size so I can have more pages for each week. But what it looks like is basically each week has um, a timeline on the left side and blank notes on that extends onto the right side of the page. And I can add as many pages as I want in between for whatever task or things or chores that I have for the week. And then in the back, you know, I write quotes um, that inspires me, little notes, and then I use four project managers to separate specific parts of chores and tasks in my life. So personal, um, my podcast, the stationery cafe, and then for work. And in the back, I kept references pages like my goal settings for this year. I've got to switch it out for next. And then in the back, I have this fun little envelope holder where I hold little ephemeras and pieces if I need to, to help me decorate and journal on the go. And this is my Potter in Bibles. My fourth journal is the Hours Studio 2022 Planner um, from Taiwan, actually. And it's an A5 size notebook with paper that's made from Japanese paper. And it comes in this um, eight block grid for each week. And in the front are monthly pages as well. I'm using this journal as a Chinese journal because I um, want to have more opportunity to practice writing in Chinese. And then this space also creates little frames for me to do fun stationary collaging if I want to. Last year, my Chinese journal was actually um, done in the Thinking of You, as I explained before. And you can see I really had a lot of fun with these. I create very um, filled to the brim spreads, and I journaled in Chinese, and I use it to stick stickers and washies and swatches. And this year, I can't wait to move into my 2022 Hour Studio Planner. My fifth journal or planner, this is kind of a mix, is the Thinking of You for 2022. So last year I talked about Thinking of You X Mr. Eggplants, which is a creator from Taiwan. Um, this planner is from Taiwan as well. It's A5 size, made with Tomoe River paper, and has a really nice weekly layout that looks like this. You have these vertical space below and empty space above with check marks um, that you can use to mark your tasks and such. Each month comes with also a monthly overview with check boxes along the side. You can see the design is very minimalistic but also has a nice um, nature looking um, aesthetics with the lines being, you know, spaced out at certain points, the lettering, the color of the font, and the color of the lines as well. And then because Mr. Eggplants is a very good lettering artist, she also includes these lettering exercise in between each month so that you can have fun, you know, playing with your pens, playing with your brush markers, having fun doing some lettering as you enjoy your time in this journal. And I plan to use this for 2022 as a journal slash planner for the Stationery Cafe, which is a stationery themed podcast that I've been hosting for two years now. And as we have established a Patreon since May 2021, you know, we have been growing and planning a lot of new content. So this is gonna have some structure for me to plan out things for that project, as well as this kind of playground for me to document all things stationary, 
things we talk about on the podcast, and then making notes about new guests,、um, notes about things we want to talk about for each episode. So this will be a dedicated notebook, planner, journal for that. Hello, we're back with the plotter. This is the last size of the plotter lineup currently available for the U.S. And this is a narrow size plotter. And this one comes in the smooth leather Colicchio in the color wine. And I actually paired it with an insert by Knox K N O X, also from Japan. And it comes in the vertical layout. So you can see the pages are very narrow. It's very nice and convenient because you can put it easily in any bags and stuff. And I am using this exclusively for a finance and budgeting tracker. So you can see I kind of organize my spendings, the different types, and color coded it accordingly.、Um, in each weekly spread, I will jot down the things I spent, and then color code them, sum it up. And then record them in the monthly spread, sum it up again on the left side, and then see if it breaches my budget. And it also gives me an overview of the things I have to pay, you know, the things I have coming up that I'm subscribed to. And I just think this would be a good way to kind of take a look at my spendings and my financial goals for 2022. And because this is again a ring binder, I have the flexibility later on to put in more pages. Take on more pages if I need to, based on you know research and learning new things throughout the year, financial wise. And I'm really looking forward to making this、um, financial tracker planner work for me. Hello, old friend. You remember me? This is the Hobonichi Five Year Tacho in A6 size. It's um, it's from 2019 to 2023. So we're halfway there. Um, past halfway point actually, and throughout these past three years, I've been kind of using it on and off. You can see some days I journal, some days I did not. But that is because this planner is basically a sort of a milestone, important moments in life sort of journal for me. I don't necessarily need to journal in it every day, but when I have significant things happening in my life, I will definitely make sure to note it down. So that looking back, you know, in the totality of each year, I can compare it to significant events in the past. Again, this is、um, from the Hobonichi brand, and it's made with Tomoe River paper. So it's been really fun working in it with fountain pens, and I look forward to filling out my 2022 and 2023, and then get rid of this <laughs> finally. So you might see this planner pop up、um, on Instagram and YouTube lately. This is called the Pal P A L from Kokuyo in collaboration with Bushiman, which is another amazing stationery YouTuber. And she had designed、um, this interesting layout, which you know includes eight blocks across the whole week, but with each day a line. Comes down straight in the middle, separating into two, so you can have some degree of separation on the things you want to track. So you can have, say, like work stuff here, private stuff on the other side, health thing here on the left, you know, things you want to do on the right. So there's a lot of fun to it, and each、um, month is preceded with a monthly calendar, a lot of bullet journaling space, the habit tracker like space on the right side, and then the weekly pages. This is in the B6 size, and I'm planning to use it for a health planner next year. So you might know from my previous videos in the Hobonichi week, I like to track about、um, physical pains and emotional thoughts. So I think this is a perfect divider for that scenario. And then, as well as for these monthly section, I'm gonna track down my progress and my health goals,、um, intentions, and things I want to do, as well as important dates. So we'll see how this goes for 2022. All right, we're coming down to the home stretch right here. This is a traveler's notebook. I got this new insert、um, late this year. It's the Kokuyo edition, and I am pairing it with a traveler's notebook 2022 diary insert. Again, another type of refill that splits the year into two, and it comes in the vertical style, so it shows the full week. 
um, with a timeline and a note section at the bottom and you can switch it out at the second half of the year. I'm using this as a way to document and track and you know jot down journal about my entertainment and media intake so basically um, songs i've been listening to frequently shows i'm catching up on movies i've watched um, things i've read on facebook and twitter things like that and then also this layout just kind of gives me the flexibility and freedom to play with my journals my stamps and really have a lot of fun with the things i'm consuming on a daily basis so you know what, this is an excuse for me to play more with my stationery. And the Traverse Notebook's really fun because it's really modular. You can like fill it in with other inserts, such as this one, another special insert from TraverseCompanyUSA.com. And then you can pair it with like stickers to customize it, you know, folders to keep important things in there. And so I've been having a lot of fun with Traverse Notebook for the past few years. They've been a little like non-committal non-dated planners or journals for me and this year i finally got one that's um dated <music> Back to my roots, the Hobonichi Techo A6 size. This one is housed in one of Hobonichi's new cover, Into the Forest, this luscious green letter um, from the website. And it's a trifold, so it's really cute. And I am using it with a Hobonichi Techo Day Free, which is a notebook that they had designed um, similar to the look of their normal Hobonichi Techo with quotes underneath. The no dates so that means there's flexibility to this i don't have to write in this every day i'm planning to use it as a doodle diary so kind of going back to my roots if you've seen one of my earlier videos um, in this channel i love using an asic planner to just you know draw my day journal about it and i kind of want to re pick up that aspect of myself you know practicing a lot more with my arts and doodles illustrations and such and it comes with a monthly insert so i'm just going to kind of use it to write down like daily highlights gratitude who knows we'll see <laughs> a lot of fun opportunities to do um, with this day free right guys so that is it that's my planner <laughs> and journal lineup for 2022 um you don't have to be like me some people do really well with just one planner and one journal for the year I just have to love stationery a lot and you will see me talk about that over on the Stationery Cafe podcast, a podcast that I host with my friends where we catch up each week um, to talk about stationery, new things in the community, and as well as amazing creators out there. We also have a Patreon if you're interested called the Stationery Cafe Patreon. So look out for those and here are my journals. <laughs>